<clears throat> hey YouTube, it's Catherine here. And so for my keto journey, um, my weigh in for I guess the entire month of November mostly, I am officially down 0.4 pounds for the entire month. So the scale is not moving. And um, so I weighed myself on the first, which I think was Friday. Sunday and today and I'm fluctuating between three pounds and it's just staying in this three pound range so I'm 252.9 at my lowest of the three pounds I'm like 253 or no sorry I'm I'm 251 uh, I think 0.7 at my lowest and then 253 is where I'm I'm fluctuating I'm just staying in this two three pound range um, yeah, I don't know what to do now. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to just stay the course, if I'm supposed to switch things up. I, I don't know. I honestly, the, my clothes aren't feeling any different, um, either. So I have this pair of jeans that was a non-scale victory, uh, in this journey. Um, it was something that they didn't even do up. They went up, but they didn't do up. Um, which I've been using those. I've been using those as kind of my guideline because I wear a lot of tights and stuff and they don't, they have stretchy waistbands. So the... I've been putting the jeans on every couple of weeks to just see if there's any, you know, are they getting looser? Like even though my weight's not moving, but they're not, they're not getting any looser at all. Yeah, they're still doing up, but no, they're not, um, getting any different there. Um, my shirts, my shirts are all the exact same as I've always been wearing. There's nothing that has had to go into the too big pile or anything like that. Um, so staying focused is hard. Uh, I haven't cheated. I have not gone off the rails. I have not put anything into my body that is not keto. Um, in this entire journey, there has been no slip ups at all. Um, yes, I change up what I'm doing um, or how I'm doing it. Um, but I don't, I've never, you know, cheated. So I think that that makes it more of a struggle because you're not cheating and you are doing the right thing and nothing is coming of it. So, um, again, maybe I just need to stay the course. I don't know. You know, the thing about all of this keto stuff is there's no like timelines. Like could somebody say this might take three months to occur. You need to stay the course. You know, this might take a couple of weeks. Like give me the minimum and the maximum of how long this should take. So I know that I have some sort of guideline. Um, but you don't get that with any of the keto, any of it. Like, you know, like if this works, this is going to take X amount of time. If this works, this is going to take X amount of time. And so like, even with, um, so I'm still following Dr. Berg. Um, I'm drinking the apple cider vinegar lemon juice concoction twice a day. Um, it's supposed to be three times a day, but, um, it's not great. <laughs> Two times is enough. Um, and I'm eating twice a day. I am fasting right now for 19 hours a day and have been doing that. But again, how long do you need to be fasting before you see results? Like I've been fasting now for two weeks and I've seen no results, really nothing. Um, I did start using kelp as well and I have had a lot of digestional upset with that in the last, uh, I would say one week. Um, I'm actually going to stop taking it because I can't deal with that anymore. Um, I think I'm going to track again this week. I think I'm back to that point um, to see kind of where I am. I have a pretty good idea that I'm still in my range. Like all I'm eating, I eat two eggs, three pieces of bacon every single morning with like a tablespoon of butter. I eat that every single day. Um, and the meal in the afternoon is a protein and a salad, like a big salad. And that's all I'm eating. 
Um, now in that salad, I guess I do put ingredients. Like I put usually like four or five cherry tomatoes, um, a little bit of red onion, um, sometimes a little bit of cucumber. I'm kind of sick of cucumber, so no more cucumber. Um, maybe some, uh, a little bit of pepper and dressing. Um, I'm, I haven't been eating cheese at all, so I'm totally off dairy now as well. Um, I do have it minimally, like I would say maybe maximum once a week, if that. And it's usually in the form of like Parmesan cheese or something. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, the really the only other things that I can play around with is my calories. You know, what point of my macros do I need to be in the calorie zone? You know, I've tried increasing, I've tried decreasing, and I haven't really seen a result one way or the other. Now, I wouldn't say that I have stuck to anything for any significant period of time. So that could be something as well. Um, yeah, so those are my options. I have no idea what to do at this point. So like I said, I'm going to start tracking again this week, um, doing what I've been doing, but just tracking it or like weighing it out and making sure that I am, you know, my B, what is it? BMR, my body metabolic rate, resting rate or whatever, um, says that I should be like at almost 19, 1800, 1800 to 1900 calories. Um, which I feel is high. Like, I feel like I struggle to get there. Um, my natural, if I'm just naturally eating keto, I'm usually between, anywhere between, I would say, I could be as low as a thousand, but I'm usually around like 12, 13, 1400. Um, so if that's my natural, then I would think that I should be somewhere around 15, 1600 so that I would be increasing slightly. Um, I don't know though. So if you guys have any input, <laughs> help away. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, so yeah, that's my update. Um, and I guess we'll see you next week. I, I am definitely at a standstill, but you know, my skin is feeling good. I'm not feeling bad. I am sleeping good. Um, I don't have much stress going on right now. I, I, I don't know. Like, there is nothing else that should be preventing, you know, the weight from coming off. Um, I don't have a ton of sweeteners. Um, I do have a little bit. It's always in the form of erythritol. Um, occasionally a ste uh, stevia because I drink those Zevia. Uh, but again, not every day. Like one, one a co every couple of days or something. Um, so we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys, and keto on.